All right. Time to start our day. What do you yeah. think? Time to start our day, Bozo? <laughs> I'm behind. A four-wheeler. No, that's, that's a lawn service. And they are... Oh, they're getting ready to cut me off. They got a big X mark, a giant one. But they are three guys and one mower. Very productive. All right, freaks, my bad luck streak continues. We'll look at this stuff in a minute here. I'm at the dealer. My lawnmower just shot craps. My clutch busted off. I'm driving along. It starts vibrating, the whole thing. Ooh, so I just get crazy, wah. Turn it off, turn everything off. Pow. Flies off. It goes right up in there. What a freaking disaster. All right, so my mower's in good hands now. Uh, before I go back and start push mowing everything, finish the day out, look at this stuff they have right here. Man, this thing's been used and abused. Do you have any paint left, bro? Seventy-two inch. Dang! It's a big old sucker too. Wait a second, how big is this one? Hmm. Well, there you go, this one's all set. Got the bag of trash, everything duct taped on. Yep, it's been around the block, I'd say. Well, more than around the block. Dang. Look at them tires. Freaky stuff. What the hell are we coming up on? Freaks. First two yards of the day. This one and this one. Felt kind of strange loading up without um, my big mower on here. Hopefully they're gonna call me and have it ready. I'm just gonna push mow today. Look at this, it bounced off again. Told you this is crap. Crap trimmer racks. And I got the guy with the flag right here, and then one three doors down from him. But I decided not to do them first because I'm dragging ass. I stayed up too late trying to catch up on all my emails and messages from you freaks. <laughs> it's kind of fun, but I don't think I can keep up. I really don't. All right, we're gonna kick it old school. We're gonna bust out about nine of these suckers. Hopefully, Maybe I can get like six of them done and then they call me before the big ones are due. And I go up, get it, come back and knock out a couple of those. Okay, I really don't feel comfortable um, filming because these are two new yards, so I'm just gonna do my thing. But I wanted to show you, some of you guys ask what height I cut it on. And on my lawnmower, it's a number four. I went ahead and trimmed first. Okay, it's some yards I trim first, some yards I trim last, you know, after I mow. It all depends. Bi-weeklies, I almost always have to trim first. But this one, 
I don't know, it's a new one, I like it to look good. I trim it, edge it, then I blow it all off and into the grass so I can mulch it up. I'm not using a bagger. You see, I do a good job. And they're new, they don't know exactly what they got yet, so I gotta impress them for a little bit. So on here, I use number four setting. It's, there's numbers on them, but they're worn off already. Number four there. Now, if you want it to go just a little bit lower, but you don't want it to go too much lower because it might scalp, just lower the front to a three. Leave the back like it is. And that will actually stripe. It will make the grass lay. You'll be cutting the blades at an angle going this way. Just a slight little angle, okay? And when you're coming back up the other side, they'll be laying the other way. So to give it a more of a stripe look, plus the front will be pushing down more than the back. It's just um, just the way, you know, the pitch of the deck means a lot, and it works on a big mower too. The pitch of the deck helps with your striping. So there you go. Time to get to work. All right. I just got it cut. With a small mower. And I got a little sidetracked. I had to talk to her, and then I also had to talk to him right there. He came down and paid me for his. So, time to go across the street. All right. Another one bites the dust. Bow, bow, bow. Another one bites the dust. Another one rides the bus. All right. Hmm. Pretty good, right? It's getting kind of dry out here, man. We need some rain. And we need it soon. Look, they leave this part for me to do. Then they go up there and they scalp the rest. I actually do that yard right behind here, too. Alright, time to blow it off and get out of here. Notice how I keep my trimmer and blower right here? Ain't nobody getting my stuff. Again. It's 1128, freaks. I'm driving and filming. It's better than drinking and driving, right? They called about my mower, and they said it's ready to go. I dropped it off at 2 o'clock yesterday, and they left a message at 11 o'clock today. Said it's ready to go. A new clutch on it. Clutch was $249. We're going to see what labor is because the warranty is up on it because, you know, it's three years old now. So, um... It's a half hour away, so we're gonna see what happens by the time I get up there and get back. But I would rather go do it now and get it and have everything up and running for when I hit the rest of the yards. I did one more small yard and then one pretty big yard that I really wished I would have had it on. So um, I'm getting, getting kind of lazy in my old age <laughs> of not wanting to walk every yard if I don't have to and luckily I don't have to so let's go get this sucker oh yeah that's not my mailman in front of me either if it was I'd pass him up flip him off <laughs> all right I'm here to pick up my mower oh my god got some good stuff here I am wishing I had it there's somebody getting something fixed in Paris. There goes somebody. There's somebody right here. All rednecks. Paris. Got it running. All right, let's go pick it up. Kind of freaky, I didn't even notice it. My mower's right here. The X mark. There's that thing. Alright. Yeah, that's me. Let's see what we got going on down here. Oh yeah, that's nice and new. Still got the sticker on it. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, check this out. Look at his trimmer head. 
That one is on a, what is it, that's a Shindawa. And that's a Shindawa and a couple steels. Look at this one. Look at that. Freaky, huh? Got the same um, gate set up as mine. But I'm pretty sure this is a thicker angle iron. All right, freaks. I'm just like about five blocks down the street from Scott's Power. Had to stop and get me a Gatorade. It's a keto. <laughs> and some headache pills, man. Okay. Who's that guy? Got? He's got a hustler. He's got two hustlers. So the, the deal was, it was actually $275 for the um, clutch. Um, $341.56 was my total. So they charge um, let's say $45 an hour labor charges, plus some shop material. For that. That's normal, that's cool. It is what it is. Think of this though. 20, less than 24 hours it got it back. Scott's Power in St. Louis. They have four locations, at least that I know of. Arnold, Trenton Avenue, here, somewhere. The Wolf Allen one. Man, you get right in, get right out. They, All of them have treated me um, really good. So I have no complaints about that. If you're in the St. Louis area, check them out because you guys are telling me it'd take you weeks to get your stuff back. They're fast around here. I don't know. We got it going on. So there's my shout out to them. <laughs> I'll be doing more shout outs. I'm gonna go poke around in their shop one day with the camera. Let everybody see what's going down. See what you can go buy. <laughs> All right, I'm running behind. I gotta go. I've showed you this intersection before in a video, but here we go again. This is my favorite freaky intersection. Oh man. Oh, 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 he didn't come. Oh, somebody's coming. You don't stop, you just jump on in the circle. Uh oh, he jumped right out. <laughs> oh, you gotta film every time you go through there. Because one of these days, bam! Something's gonna happen. All right, 12.55, not bad considering all the running around, but this is gonna be my fifth yard. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna get six of them done. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of burnt out now from the drive and stuff. I'm just gonna catch it all on the back end of the week. Yeah. Okay, this yard's, um, they had garden last year, it's all jacked up. There was a storm came through here in the spring pour the crap out of everything. Their shed back there got um, got knocked over. There's still crap there from the shed. Swim pool got damaged. They just put everything in a pile and their deck they had built around it and um, threw it in a pile and burnt it and tore out these things. They did that. They tore those out, which is cool with me. Get rid of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna knock this sucker out. Got my mower. See what happens.
All right. It really didn't take that long. Looking good. I still consider this day a bust. Actually, the whole week's a bust. Just like my window. There you go.